Hello, I am Brennan. I'm Ryan. And I'm <laughs> Gabby. <laughs> you got it. And I'm Gabby. <laughs> That's Gabby. And this is Brennan. <laughs> That was good. <laughs> I like that. First things first, um, what, what are we doing today, Ryan? We're getting tattoos. We're getting tattoos. Cheers. Cheers with our to new our mugs. tattoos. Oh, with and to our, our new, new mug. Well, this is terrible. No one's going to know anything we're saying. <laughs> yeah, we're both talking at the same time. Um, so our mugs are from Mac oh. McCuster. We got new mugs for the show. Tell them, McCuster, because I know um, all y'all were staring at my orange juice in episode one, and it looks so <laughs> yeah. nasty. It looks Your so orange gross. Juice. So we decided we needed some um, some opaque uh, mugs, and look, they match the set. They do. Everything. They're so cute. Um, they're handmade handmade by a trans artist from North Carolina, I think. That um, is a place to be trans. And he was so sweet to work with. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed what we got. Um, support. <laughs> what are y'all laughing about? I said, that's a place to be trans. <laughs> it is. This is where it all went down. It's where it all started. That's where it all started. <laughs> um, but uh, we are supporting. It's It's topical because we're supporting trans artists today. We are. We love those. Yes. Cheers again. Yeah, cheers There's again. There's water in here, by the yeah, way. Yeah, it's this literally time, just actually, water. It is water. Yeah, it's not orange juice. But you but... wouldn't be able to tell. Mm. But you wouldn't be able to tell. <laughs> <laughs> you're, like, you're like, oh, wait. Oh, wait. I want to add something. Um, we're going to change locations and get tattoos. Um, as you may have noticed, we already got them. <laughs> don't... don't tell people. Don't... You're going to ruin the magic. <laughs> you're going to ruin the magic, Brennan. Anyway, we're gonna okay. move locations. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna, we're move, gonna locations. move locations and um, get, get tattoos. tattoos. Um, this is Gabby. Do you want to tell them a little bit about yourself? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Hello, I am Gabby. Um, my Instagram handle is um, at Sick by Gabby. I am from Come a little closer. Yeah, and talk. A little I, am I am I really? I'm usually the loud one. Yeah. Hi, I'm Gabby. Is that better? Yeah. Um. I am from Long Beach. Uh, I do hand poke tattoos. I've just started on a machine and these guys let me uh, practice some of my machine and hand poke techniques. I call them hybrid tattoos. Um, yeah. The term. Yeah. Yeah, you I coined mean, it. I don't know. This is yeah. your style. I can't like say that for sure. Does anybody else do that that you know of? No one's ever done that. I don't think anyone's uh, no. ever no done that. No one's ever done that. <laughs> we want to talk about how tattoos are important for trans people, how it can help trans people express themselves. Yep. Expression. <laughs> is that expression? <laughs> expression. All of our music and art is done by Cops Hate Mo. We have an incredible team. Check them out in the description. And uh, let's just go get some tattoos. Whoosh. Oh, <laughs> yeah, let's do go. we have to follow let's Gabby? Go. Oh my god, you guys. Go. Oh my god, go, go Gabby. We, oh, whoa, you can't. Oh, shit. Okay. I'll just do this. I'll just do this. Oh, god, no. That's so funny because we have to come back. <laughs> okay, that's a wrap on the intro. All right. Do, do we just you? go? We go. <laughs> yeah, Where'd you grab my like that? I didn't. I was going like this. Oh, grab my that's... Hi, welcome <laughs> to my YouTube. I'm TPP. Gabby with Stick by Gabby. I'm Ryan so, with the TPP, the Tip Protection Program. So what's what's um what's funny about this is we haven't recorded the intro yet. We're doing that yeah, after I know. this. So <laughs> this is Gabby's like first time on the camera. And so. Oh, I was like, yeah, I know we're not filming that now. <laughs> Like, no, I'm, I'm telling the I'm telling the audience. <laughs> we talk to audiences. Here. We have an audience now. Now that the camera is on, yeah, we have an audience. Okay. Act appropriately. <laughs> you don't have to act. I know. I'm just... It's okay. It's okay. So, um, Gabby's gonna do my tattoo. This is what it looks like. It's a bird. <laughs> it's, it's just a bird. I have a bird tattoo. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we're both gonna have bird tattoos on I our do. arms. Look. 
We're all gonna have bird tattoos on our arms. Oh my god. Okay, period. Cute. Let's go. It's gonna be Beautiful. really cute. This tattoo is so freaking sick. I'm so glad you're getting it this big. I'm really I'm, excited. I actually I'm so really excited. um so I was doing a lot of planning for this episode. This episode has been like a month in the making and I've not once thought about how much this is gonna hurt. On camera. <laughs> and how we're gonna film this on camera. Um, yeah. So let's let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Also, let me know if you need any breaks. Any. Okay. For whatever reason. Okay. Let me know. It doesn't matter so, if you need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> if you want to just like stretch your leg piece. It's know. okay. I've gotten a tattoo head. from you before. Yeah, I know. But yeah. I also want to just like honor. We trust you. Yeah. I, I want to also honor the fact that I am tattooing your body. And yeah. It is your body. And yeah. like you get to tell me when you your body is telling you something. So, you know. Thank you. We're exchanging. So I appreciate that. It's important. I think it's like, yeah, that's like a huge, huge reason why I tattoo. I'm not gonna look. Yeah, it's don't. Okay. I never. I don't. Look. I don't like um, needles or like blood this or anything. Funny. It's okay. Did you want? So like. Ready? No. <laughs> it's okay. Well, we just continue our conversation. It's okay. Just look at me or look at something else. Like, so you don't think about it. I usually look at. Videos of raccoons playing in pools. Oh, it does hurt. It's okay. It's okay. It's a tattoo. It's gonna hurt a little bit, but it's, it's so let's talk crazy. about the the things, the topics of conversation that we had written down. Okay. okay. Yes. <laughs> Look how fast it's going though. It's going Look, wow. there's two lines. There's two lines already now. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Oh wow, you got a lot better way through the machine. Thanks. <laughs> what are you saying? Rat, the first I, one. No, was it was no, okay. No, no, no. Well, no, Backstory. No, no, no. <laughs> so my so the the first time Gabby was using we might not put this in. <laughs> Don't. This is just practice. We're warming up. <laughs> Does the line art. It's just practice. It's just practice. No. Okay, so this is what it is. Which one do I look look at? Listen to me. I I have been stick and poke, hand poking tattoos um for almost two years now. Okay. And recently under mentorship with my friend Danelle. Uh, tattoos illustrate on uh, Instagram. She's oh, a queer, girl. yeah. She's a queer artist that's been tattooing for like ten years, and she took me under her wing, and I've been practicing with her. She's been teaching me like the machine and how to use a rotary machine. Um, and Brennan just happened to be one of the first people that I tattooed with my machine. Like we're, I tattooed, yeah. yeah. We're actually own friends with my like, own machine. We're friends outside of this project oh, yes. too that's like, another thing y'all don't know i'm not friends with gabby i'm friends with donut yeah i only come over to see donut donut is gabby's cat actually gabby kiana's cat oh <laughs> gabby is donut's human mm-hmm. that's uh that's how i know gabby yeah. i don't know about you but that's i met gabby through donut yeah donut is a homie you know mm-hmm. he just like the connect mm-hmm. Okay. So this is a different kind of pain. Yeah, it's like more manageable for me. Yeah. I don't know about you. It's a different kind of pain. I don't know how much more manageable it is, but it's okay. Okay. Um, Gabby, what does tattooing mean to you? Oh man. I feel like I'm in a pageant. <laughs> I was like, it feels like we're on like tattooing. <laughs> with, what we're tattooing both means our, to me is we're both gonna hold our mind. Um I have water in them. I think it's like a, a way to express yourself. Like, no one else can. I feel that. Um, so, like, creating, like, an idea that reminds you of, like, a moment in your life and, like, capturing that. And, like, you always remember that when you look at it. And it also, like, I don't know, aesthetic mm-hmm. is a huge thing, too. Like, the look of them is just, I don't know. I don't know how better to answer that without, like, because it means a lot of different things to different people. Yeah. Which, was- like... I was going to say, the way you described it makes it sound like, do you have any, like, tattoos that remind you of, like, your childhood? Or, uh, like, a very important memory? Like, what tattoo do you have that reminds you of, like, the best memory? Because, like, I, my chest piece, I have it because, like, in my neighborhood when I was a kid, there was, like, three Dobermans owned by this crazy dude. And I was like, oh, they're so cool. I wish they were nice. Do you have a, what's your, let me know. Do you have a childhood tattoo or a um, tattoo that reminds you of a crazy good memory or something? It doesn't have to be good. I mean, yeah, recently I went to the Red Rocks with my partner, Kiana, and mm. 
I we were like gonna get tattoos because like we do that when we travel. So we're like, oh, like let's look up a tattoo place and see if there's anything that are our, our, our styles. Um, and we found this traditional artist out there, and like I knew I wanted an e- a traditional eagle, but the thing that made it special was the yeah, the one on my it's arm. So well done. It's so well done. Um, yeah. So I. The funny thing is, is I already had this um, planned that I was going to get an eagle, but then we went and we stopped at every looking point out in the Red Rocks, Mm -hmm. and there was, like, a baby eagle, like, flying. Like, they don't look like this. They're, like, white, and it doesn't look like an eagle, and I'm like, oh, that's not an eagle. And it was, like, a baby eagle, and it was so cool and so magical, and it just, like, commemorated that trip in general and like it was a special trip like camping is fun and like it just reminds me of how fun that whole weekend was so that's so cute yeah that's like one of my favorite ones i don't really have like a childhood one brennan do you want any tattoos that that remind me of my child remind you of your childhood or a memory just a memory well my first tattoo was the anchor on my ankle and that's because of a book that i read as a kid which is funny book it's called bloody jack and it's about a girl who dresses up as a boy to be um to to join the navy essentially um because it's from like it yeah it's like (laughs) mulan but with pirates um it's it's a really good book and i loved that book as a kid and I think that's why I'm trans today. Oh, shoot. That book made you trans. It's because they're gonna take that literally. Oh, I know. But anyway, but like that's why like I I think like I resonated with that book so much because um, the girl is like a cis girl, but she but she dresses up as a man to kind of survive in like the late 1800s. Um, Jeez, what a time. Or, or early. It might be early, late 1700s. I don't know. Someone's going to go research the book and be like, you got the times wrong. It's 1682 or whatever. But like basically it's olden times where women couldn't do anything and control their lives. And so she decides to dress up as a boy to like have control over her life essentially. Um, and she gets an anchor tattoo. Um and of course, women like at that time like did not get tattoos at all. No, and so threw them off. Yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> so obviously dude. you can't. Yeah. So that's <laughs> so that's why. Yeah, exactly. Only guys get tattoos. <laughs> Only guys get that. I wish it was like that now. But um, so that's why I got the anchor. So I guess that is like a reminder of my childhood. I don't know. Would you say that tattoos are gender affirming for you? Also, to you, Gabby. Also, question to you. <laughs> I mean, I think that they made me appreciate my body more. Like, I yeah. like I hated my legs. Mm-hmm. Hated them growing up. And, like, up until recently, I, I mean, like, I practiced all over my legs. And now I, like, want to wear shorts all the time. I'm yeah. just like, oh, I look sick. Yeah, like, yeah. chill my body. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, I feel that. it's definitely yeah. aff- affirming and, like, that I love the body I'm in more yeah. because of them. Or, like, they help me like my body more. I feel that. I just think my arms were, like, way too skinny. I was also around people who always told me I needed to, like, work out after I, like, um, came out. Like, as a dude, they were all, like... It went from, like, people being, like, oh, you're too big when I was a girl to it being, yeah. like, oh, you're too small when I was a guy. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. So, like, <laughs> I had, like... Like, I had a lot of people in my ear, like, oh, you're too skinny. Like, you gotta work out, blah, blah, blah. And I was, like, Probably. what? <laughs> like, what? Like, where did this come from? So once I started getting tattoos in my arm, I was, like, oh, I look so freaking Cool. Like I want to wear like sleeveless shirts all the time because like I like the art. I really like the art. I think it also pulls like people notice my tattoos before they like even judge like who mm-hmm. I am. Like I'll be in a store and they'll be like sick ass tattoos, and I feel like it yeah. takes yeah, away it takes from, away like, from any other like yeah where I feel like distinguishing they're staring at feature. Me I think that's such a good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very affirming to be like oh that person's just like tatted cool and that's all yeah I'm yeah about. that's it that's, that's it. all yeah, that's not it you're not thinking about your gender my, no my weird body hair yeah like, <laughs> makeup, like, or all the other things you're self-conscious yeah, about you're thinking, like whoa they got that's so true tattoos. yeah like even right now like people are focusing on the tattoo right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so i like it i think it draws attention away from like my actual body yeah. yeah it's like that's what i got that's why i got the um chest piece because i was like True, my nipples totally were super away from yeah. any other yeah so I, it's affirming in a lot of different ways that like 
it extend way more than just like feeling like you're you and yeah. like I'm I am like non-binary it makes me non-binary no it's like yeah uh, all the other like yeah factors in life like that are small so small like interactions with people yeah um, I was gonna say have you done what about any like I know you've done some gender affirming tattoos for other people can you describe what that was yeah. like for you or them so I did a like a pride flash in June um and there's somebody who is non-binary they use their pronouns she they Mm -hmm. and like I tattooed queer on them and they they were like I want it here and I want it like people to be able to see it in certain outfits because like it's not always visible like people Mm -hmm. just assume that I'm a straight white woman or like they just think I'm yeah they think of me as like because I'm so feminine or like and yeah so I think it I I mean that that was like a really special one and then I did um the male symbol and it was on somebody who like had told everyone in high school and stuff that they had it on their leg and like everyone believed them (laughs) and then I finally got to give them the tattoo that they've been like saying they had Mm -hmm. and it was it was like I don't know a lot of different things and it doesn't even have to be like gender specific it doesn't have to be like an equal sign or anything like that but it can mean like such a like a big growing point like this tattoo this flower i tattooed on myself was the first time i verbalized that i was trans like that day like i was tattooing myself watching this trans like athlete video with my partner who was getting um her master's degree in sports psychology what was that Okay, just There's whole, nothing in oh, it. Okay, okay. okay. Um, <laughs> and I tattooed myself, and the whole time I was tattooing myself, I was like really connecting the dots mm-hmm. and like seeing a lot of myself in the athletes. And it was like really strange. And I was like, oh, oh. And then like I looked over after the video had finished and I had finished tattooing, and I was just like, um. What a time. Is this thing on? <laughs> I think I'm trans. <laughs> I think I I think I'm non-binary. And then like my partner, of course, is just like super like kind of already had like I, I was already saying shit that was like The people um, around yeah, you. Yeah, but they're not gonna tell tend you. Tend to notice. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I got really got engulfed in that story. I stopped tattooing. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. Not to get like too off topic, but do you think specifically with the person you were talking about where you tattooed queer on them, mm-hmm. they use uh, she, they pronouns and usually to most people who are like, probably like uh, cishet and white, like they just look like another like cishet white person. Mm-hmm. Do you think that that like helped cure the, maybe like the imposter syndrome they had with their identity or like not cure, but like it help helps aid, with it. aid in it? Yeah. So. That's yeah, cool. no, they definitely design. said that it like it's always been something that's on their mind and like not that it's going to cure it cuz like you're still going to be like right. perceived in ways that like you don't want to be or you, like not that you don't want yeah, you don't want to be. You want to be perceived differently. <laughs> <laughs> but how is this? Right. Cure definitely wasn't the right cure word. Cure is yeah, we're Cure we're, was the wrong word. I mean, uh, maybe like alleviate. Yeah, problem. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think it probably helps them a lot when they are having rough days. <laughs> so Sorry, back to the just conversation real quick. I'm okay. okay. The the stick and poke is a different kind of pain, I think. But is it a better pain or worse pain or more tolerable pain? Tolerable. It's it's like um uh, more isolated. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay, it's not like a nervy. Yeah. Like if you got like a paper cut or something. Like it goes away as soon as it's done. The next one, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. I it's, find that I do better with the, that kind of thing. It feels almost like getting poked with a needle multiple times. Wow. That's what it feels oh, like. Oh, I'm not doing that at all. <laughs> right. You know what it feels like? A stick and poke tattoo, <laughs> I think. You think. This is your first, so like. Now you know. No, but I know what it feels like <laughs> no, because it's a you. stick and poke tattoo, so I know what it feels like now. Oh, good God. How does it feel, Ryan? Oh, good God. Jesus. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Christ. Does it get easier? Um, Shading hurts a lot less. God damn, that hurt like a bitch. I'm trying to watch little videos of otters. I love um, otters. Yeah, this one has clams on its head. Oh, my God.
I mean, or the you can just keep going white blood 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 blood. Blood. Okay, okay, thank you. I'm gonna try to say to um a white oh god damn. A white claw out of water in the cup. Mm. I'm just talking. I'm just talking so I can think about literally anything else. <laughs> Okay, if, um, do, would you like to talk about your own identity and, like, how you identify and, like, how you express that identity? Yes. Um, I, Gabby. <laughs> yes. Hey, Gabby. I'm Gabby. Gabby. <laughs> yes, I am Gabby. Um, I'm non-binary. I use they, them pronouns at the moment. Um... I would say I'm a trans masculine human. I am currently saving funds for my top surgery, which is in process. Just got a few um, other things, you know. You have to work out like insurance and stuff uh, like that. And I have to go get a physical and like do okay. all of the like checkups to like be approved by a doctor and then go to a surgeon and chat but i think it might happen at some point next year so that's cool so you identify as non-binary yes. Yes, um yes, yes. cool yeah <laughs> yeah it's a cool thing no, so it, how did you come to that like, oh. um so i actually reconnected with one of my good friends lev um we went to cal state long beach together And he actually came out really early on in our um, college career and we kind of lost touch for a little bit and we chatted and he invited me to a trans group because I was having some identity um, thoughts, crisis, crisis, (laughs) yeah, (laughs) like an identity crisis for real. Like I was like, who am I? Yeah. Um, And then I started going to those groups and like at first I was like, she her and then like i literally was at a trans group like she her yeah yeah and i was like i'm not trans and then (laughs) um yeah and it felt weird and i felt like really impostery and then um yeah it just kind of like progressed from there sorry ryan um funny spot uh, (laughs) (laughs) i started using she they nobody really used they surprising um everyone just continued to call me she her and it started like hitting me like and weird oh, so like I just got that yeah. yucky feeling and I'm like that doesn't seem right um and so I just kind of like sat in that discomfort for a while and then I was like you know what no like I'm they them yeah and that seems more right there's like a lot of um internalized transphobia um that I experience for many reasons like especially growing up in a Baptist church but like yeah it's I've gained a community through tattooing yeah like a lot of i've met a lot of trans you tattoo a lot of trans people and a lot of queer people yeah because i reconnected with that friend and all yeah like his friends were like yeah yeah and yeah excuse me (laughs) you can curse if you want (laughs) cool um yeah so a lot of them started coming to me and then i would chat with them and then word of mouth and it kind of like built a community around me that like mm-hmm. made me feel comfortable to like explore it even when I'm tattooing yeah. somebody they share their experiences and I'm like oh and then you learn more about yourself yeah yeah it's like it's it's a fun like it's a really fun thing it's it's been like a really hard journey um but I am really proud of where I'm at and like what I'm doing and who I'm tattooing right now <laughs> <laughs> all right next how are you feeling, Ryan? Dying. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, how do you describe your art style? Um, I would say it's definitely like on the traditional, like bold side of things. Um, but it's not like super traditional. I kind of like mix it with a like more simple line work. Mm-hmm. And like, I mean, I do like, I don't know. It's like a lot of mixture. And I think that my style is still growing. But I would say it's a lot of like ignorant um traditionally inspired yeah like really bold i really love really bold lines as you can tell yeah i feel it yeah Yeah. Yeah, and i like to incorporate a lot of like stippling 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 yeah stippling yeah i always say it wrong and then i say it right um (laughs) but like that's how i get gradients and shading i don't really do a traditional type of shading with like shaders 
because I'm more comfortable with like a hand poked method like this and shaders are wider and I have more control with like the and I think it definitely stylizes your work too yeah it makes me like no it makes it very unique I love it so much yeah thank you I appreciate you guys getting my work it like makes me happy that we can do this you know yeah yeah and like I'll, I'll tell you like I have never had a tattoo experience where like I feel comfortable and like safe with mm-hmm. my artists like I've always just gone to shops and they've been like so mean to me yeah and um I don't know I think getting art from like a I don't know a queer person um is really affirming I guess yeah it feels like really cool to be able to do that and create like a safe space like even if you're an ally and like, yeah yeah like safe space specifically for women and mm-hmm. queer folks yeah that are often like discriminated against yeah. in regular like yeah. tattoo and settings taken advantage of. and taken advantage yeah. of like, it's like sad it's yeah. like really upsetting actually yeah so i'm glad i can create like i hear it all the time that's like one of the most popular <laughs> compliments i get and like yeah. the, the most like i don't know it keeps me kind of going you make the space like a like a livable space while you're in pain, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's I funny. think it's it's really cool. Oh, Ryan was, Jesus. Yeah. Ah, right. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> do you want me to do the rest of the mission? You don't have to. So we got our tattoos! Yay! <laughs> a significant time has passed it's since filming the first intro. So we have to uh, pay you for yes. your work. Because we are here to support trans artists. trans artists, and we want to want to pay you so people can see that we're paying a trans artist. <laughs> yeah, okay? I'm supporting you. So I got you. So here, here, it's in we're here. We're paying you in form of a notebook. <laughs> Here's a notebook. Here, congratulations. How much does that cost? <laughs> Two bucks. Yeah, it's like maybe maybe twelve dollars at most. All right, fancy here. One. Are you are you serious? It's for your top surgery. Yeah. Are you? Serious? <laughs> yes. The check's not real. I know. It's not a real check. <laughs> no, but, but what do you but want? Like... Venmo, cash, whatever. <laughs> what, we'll pay you whenever. <laughs> but we just didn't want you to worry about your top surgery. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? That's not. That's not cool, man. <laughs> what? It's not cool. Are we getting bad? Are we getting bad? Can get emotional? <laughs> No, thank you. No, I know. Thank you. No, thank you so much. Oh, um, accepting money is hard. Like, yeah. Like, nobody told me that would be, like, a hard thing to do, but... We only wanted you to have to do it once um, in front of camera. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there's a camera there. And a camera there and a camera there. No, thank- honestly, this, like, makes me significantly closer to, like, what I need to have. And, Wow. It's your, it's your copay. It, yeah, yeah, that's like, this is like almost half of what I need to raise. Do you remember when you told me like a month ago what your copay oh was? Oh my god, when you told Brennan, Brennan texted me like, we have, we have to do Dude. this, we have to do this. I was like, okay, I've never met this person and you, I was like, I've never met, and then after I met you, I was like, we have to do this. <laughs> have to. I was like, we have to help them. That on it, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> anyway, well, you gave us really cool tattoos. You so. gave us really yeah, cool tattoos. No. So, thank so you. we wanted to give you something cool as uh, well. We love no. you. <laughs> <laughs> I was so nervous. I was like, I was like, I'm gonna tell them. I'm gonna tell. I was them. like, I was like, when you were like saying you're here, Brian's like, I'm just gonna tell. Them. I was like, Brian, don't. I was like, don't tell them. What the heck? That's not the point of. Yeah, you wanted to get it candid. We gonna surprise. That was real. <laughs> that was real. I was like, oh my goodness, yeah. I was not expecting this. <laughs> did I act okay? Yes. <laughs> like, you did great. You did great. Yeah. No, thank you. Like, I mean, it was like one thing to just like spend time with y'all, like multiple times since you've been planning this, and like what you have done to like support not only like me and my my self-expression <laughs> yeah and like uh, like getting a, a surgery that's like literally gonna improve my life like immensely but like also just like i don't know 
getting to know y'all and oh. like you you like <laughs> let me practice with my machine my machine yeah. for the first time yeah yeah that's like pretty groundbreaking and like the trust that you have with me and then like also just oh, wow 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 I'm just like really grateful yeah so, yeah thank you thank you thank you Yay! Uh, I'm so I'm so happy. I'm so, I'm happy. so happy. I'm thinking about how much this hurts right now. But also, I'm so happy. Yeah, I was like, I was like, dang. Let me yeah, I was like, we're oh, planning yeah. to give it to them after we both yeah. have like arm tattoos. I was both like, ow. Are you okay? Yes. Yeah, I was like, I'm like honestly, like just beyond words, because like I feel lucky enough to like be able to tattoo trans people and like them give me like you gave me your body to like like trust and like support my art like that is huge i mean like yeah yeah our bodies are sacred things and like you're helping my body and like wow it's just like oh my god i'm excited to see what you're gonna do for your chest piece you gotta start planning it out gotta start planning that chest piece yeah i don't know what it is yet but wow i just folded this (laughs) anyway i'm just nervous you can can do whatever you want with this we will show a close-up to the camera Anyway, so oh. that's Brenemy. Yeah, that's <laughs> episode Brenemy three. Is episode three. <laughs> um, to we just wanted to do like a special <laughs> are you? episode. Brenemies and Gabby. And Gabby. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be like a recurring segment. <laughs> I'm just gonna just come in and be like, "Hi, I'm Gabby." Hey, you guys want like, tattoos? Oh, just... <laughs> hey, I got my uh, table here. You want, <laughs> right. you want to get my every <laughs> intro? <laughs> I'm Brenemy. I'm Brenemy, and I'm Gabby. <laughs> yeah, I'm All right, Gabby. bye. And then Gabby leaves, so that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to the channel and um, wherever we're pointing. Wherever I think it's it down. I've I think done it's this in a down. while. No, it's yes. Yeah, press down. like and yeah, press like. the like button. Uh, leave a comment. Um, go check out Gabby's Instagram. Mm-hmm. Say it again. Stick by Gabby. Um, and Stick check by. out their art and them. their tattoos. And um, go check out Mac McCuster mm-hmm. for these mugs. And uh, support trans artists all the time. Support trans artists. Um, and also check out the Patreon for behind the scenes content. I was gonna say you want. Speaking wanna... of supporting trans artists, you want to say... support us? I was gonna say uh, this hoodie. <laughs> I'm a trans artist. <laughs> this is my hoodie. Go stormryan.com. That's a good one. Okay, That's how many things can we plug before? Right, right, right. <laughs> as many trans artists as possible. Go, oh, go, go. and the camera guy is oh. uh, is Charlie. Gee, what's his name again? <laughs> <laughs> the cam- um, our team is uh, Charlie, Nickel, Mo, AJJ, Alexander Jasper J. And Nick is freaking a trooper right now, recovering from yeah, pop surgery. Yeah, Nick was here the sleeping whole time. back here. <laughs> and we pulled these curtains back. <laughs> Nick's laying like like one of your French girls. Hello. Hi, Nick. My nipples hurt. (laughs) This is what we gave you access to. (laughs) That's going to be you. You're right. You're next. (laughs) We wanted to help you do that. Yeah. Oh, my God. You put us in pain. We're going to put you in pain. Honestly, wow. All right. Um, I think that's good. Yeah. Any last words, Gabby? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that was my time to shine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tell yeah, him. Oh, right. uh, <laughs> oh man. All thanks right. for thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye. You want to say thanks for watching? Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> Until next time. Bye. Bye.